Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you're a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Tradewinds RV Center. Here to congratulate you on the purchase of your Flagstaff T21 TB high wall pop up. I'm gonna walk you through the unit, show you how to use a few things. I'll show you how to do the setup and take down. First, let's go around, around the unit and show you a few things. Of course, in here is your porta potty. Storage with a shelf for your grill. In the front, a huge storage area. It'll pull out to either side, quite long. 13 foot drawer. Coming around to the side of the unit. It's be your security light. Extend and retract, that'll be bring your camper up and down. A 110 just outside the door. Your antenna. Outdoor speakers, a quick connect LP for that lip right there for your grill. In the rear campsite storage will be your grill, a water filter, extra padding for when you set your table down to a sofa, cover for your spare tire. Note up here this is your Wi Fi Ranger. You're hooked up at the park, you hook on your Wi-Fi Ranger. It's like you're right next to wherever the Wi-Fi is. Again, you have storage back here. This is heat release from your furnace. The hydraulics. Potable water, city water, cable. We'll talk about that in a moment. Your outdoor shower. Potable water when they do not have a water connect at the campsite. Access to the back of your fridge. Furnace heat release, to clear that, it'll get warm. Your power connection, your hot water heater. Again, storage that pulls through to the other side. You do have this big storage up front. Now let's talk about arriving at the campsite. First thing you wanna do is make sure your unit's level. You do have a power tongue jack with a docking light for, for the evenings. Simply raise or lower until your unit is level. If for some reason you don't have power, there is a manual override right below here. Simply put this on and crank it. Which brings me to thinking of power. When you arrive at the campsite, I highly recommend checking your battery connections. Make sure they have a wiggle loose during travel. Once you have your unit level, you're going to want to go around and put down your stabilizing jacks. Remember, these are stabilizing jacks, not leveling jacks. So make sure your unit's level. You can put a level just inside here or just inside your door, which is more to the center of the unit. Once your unit's level, you're going to bring down these jack pads. Now, I recommend putting pads on the ground, especially if you're on some hot tar or black top. It'll tend to gum up your stabilizing jacks simply turn to the right to bring them down just bring them down until they are taunt with the ground or taunt with your leveling pads again they're just to hold the unit stable there is one in each corner put all four of them down you can get a three-quarter inch socket driver for an impact driver or a cordless drill and those will run down in a matter of seconds 
once your unit is level and stable, we're going to hook up power and water. Inside your storage will be your power cord. Coming around to the off camp side, next to your hot water heater, here's your power cord. Simply plug in here, 30 amp, and plug into your 30 amp system at the campsite. Now should you be home and just need to plug into some 110, we do have this amperage reducer that comes in your convenience pack. Just remember using 110 you will not be able to run your AC. Now we have our power hooked up. Next thing we're going to do is hook up our water. The very first thing you're going to do is make sure that your water is closed. So if you put in this plug, turn to the right, close your hot water heater. At that point, you can get your water hose. You're going to plug it into the campsite's water. You're going to put on this water pressure regulator. And what that's going to do is it's going to regulate the water pressure going into your unit. You do have PEX water lines in here and you don't want to blow them out. So this is a must. Put this on. Hook up to your city water connect. Turn on your hose. Once your city water connect is on, your hose is on, your water is running. You're going to come back down to your hot water heater and use this pressure release valve. This is gonna release all the pressure in your unit, let the air out till you see a little bit of water coming out the side there, and then you know that your water's tank is full and can be lit. You have your hot water hooked up. If you get a campsite that does not have water, you wanna fill it beforehand, there is a potable water tank here. When using this potable water tank, you're gonna to wanna to use the water pump inside. Don't use the water pump if you're hooked up to city water. It's unnecessary. You have more storage back here. We have our water hooked up. We have our electricity hooked up. Outdoor shower here. Potable water for that shower area. about covers everything on the outside. I do want to mention on your propane, when you turn your propane on, you do have a regulator here. Simply point it toward the side you want, want it to use. Now right now it's green. Should you open this up and use it up, this will turn red so you'll know to turn it to the other side. All right, let's go inside the unit. Talk about a couple other things. Now most of your internal controls are underneath the seating area here. You have a speaker. You have a safety alert carbon monoxide detector. Remember this is running off 12 volts, so whenever your battery is hooked up, it's running off your battery. If you unhook from power or plan on leaving for the day and don't want your battery ran down, unhook one of the posts and save this uh, carbon monoxide detector from running your battery down. Should you be hooked up to power and you need to turn on your hot water heater that means red is on yellow is off this is your 110 with your GFI for the whole unit and then below that access panel to your fuse box and breaker box looks like you got 10 7.5 20 30 40 you got all kinds of fuses in there I recommend having a handful of those with you when you go camping table for your grill outside table extension for a little more prep space let's talk about your burners turn your gas on hit the lighter turn it off it's that simple your sink of course you're just gonna have to raise this to use let's talk about your fridge Several different settings on here. Let's start by turning your fridge on. Give it a second to warm up. Now we are on gas. 
Now we're on electric. Shift it up. Put this on auto, which means it's running on gas until it's elect until it's plugged in. Once it's plugged in, it'll go back to DC power. Over to your right. Control your temperature. One, two, three, four, five different settings. Water pump. This is to turn on when you're using your potable water. Don't use it if you're hooked up to city water. To the left. Your fear and control stereo system, indoor outdoor speakers, AM, FM, Bluetooth. To the right of that, your furnace. It lights up nicely so you can see what you need. You can go heat, you can go air. Whatever you set it up. Little control light by your cable hookup. Here's your Wi Fi Ranger. When you're at the back of the park and you're hooked up to the Wi Fi and you're not picking anything up, turn this on and it'll be like you're right next to their Wi Fi. Inside the door here is your fire extinguisher and microwave. Also, your porta potty. Grab this handle to bring it down. It goes away nice. LED lighting throughout. Your big air vent. Simply turn it to what you want. Press it for on. And press for off. Your fire alarm. Smoke, smoke alarm and a hanger. This is the hang clothes on or store bag up. The storage here. Of course, as I said, underneath the storage is a cushion and a piece of board that you can set on these lips and turn these two twins into a king size bed. There's your Dometic furnace. 110, next to the bed. More storage. Another 110 at the end of this bed. Now let's talk about setting up and setting down your trailer. First off, this table likes to store nicely right here. around and make sure that everything is clear and tucked down below these hinges. All your tables down, all your cushions are down. Alright, so let's talk about setting up and down your trailer. So once you have this front side set up, these will go up and clamp in. One on each side. Clap in. Come to the front. Lift up, it's on hydraulics. Get your front out. Your sides. Grab this handle here to pull this down. And clamp in. And you're all set.